Familia, we are live in action. You're going to be seeing this on the actual YouTube page, which is really cool. As you can see, I got raccoon eyes from going to the football game yesterday. It was insane and fun. Uh, but if you're on, I want to kind of just show you guys really quick before we get into this. Is right here is where you're watching this, and this is probably going to be about 30 seconds delayed as from when I'm talking. Uh, but you guys should automatically be uh, seeing this turn on here in a second. I'm kind of waiting for mine to turn on. But make sure if you're watching this, I see we got quite a few people on here tonight. Um, go over here and comment. Let everybody know you're here. Let, let them know what's up and how you're excited. And um, right here, it's pretty cool. I think you can actually share this live feed to like Facebook <clears throat> and stuff. And you can share it to your friends that aren't on it. So if they need to go there. Or you can come down. Like if you, there's an about and there's a share section. So if you come here and you, sh you can share it on your network, you can grab this link and copy that. Share it to the ILN people, peeps who didn't see that I posted this right here on top, or you can just literally grab this YouTube link that I sent out and send that on to people. Um, nice son, <laughs> That's funny. I wonder why mine's not starting. It's weird. I wonder if it's because I'm actually on it. Oh. Okay, cool. Here we are. All right. So if you don't, let me just make sure. Mine didn't start automatically, so just refresh if you don't see it. Um, yeah, so anyways, yeah, if you want to share that on, I think, make sure you like it too, because that's kind of cool. You can actually like it while it's going. Download, that's interesting. See, what I wanted to do tonight and why we're not doing it on a special page like ILN is I wanted to find out if this would work properly for you guys when you guys are doing live hangouts and things like that as well, uh, for one. So it's kind of like a little test for myself. So this is pretty neat. I like this. Clifton, do you, do you dig it? Yeah, this is definitely cool. I think this is awesome because I'm, you know, one of those things where like when you're just starting out, I remember, you know, getting go to meeting was like 99 bucks, so that was expensive for you know just starting out, and then all the other systems and stuff that you have to get out here to just get started. This is free, you know, Google brought our Google Hangouts are free, so this is really cool for you guys to be able to do that. So once again, look at my crazy eyes, got coon eyes. <laughs> all right, so let's let's talk about the exciting part, Clifton. A lot of you guys who are watching this right now. How many blogs are up already, Clifton? Did you say there's like over 400 already? Yeah, I think we're actually getting closer to 450, 500 blogs, something like that. So we got 500 blogs and we got a few thousand people in the network. So we know a lot of you guys have just been afraid to take that jump, right? To take that jump to get those blogs up and rolling. And we actually, another cool announcement is I was talking to Clifton yesterday. I heard some somebody out in the industry was doing unlimited blogs for their basic membership. So I say, Clifton. You know we got to go unlimited now, right? <laughs> so <laughs> now we're unlimited, so you can create as many freaking blogs as you want on your account. So now your grandmas can make it, your aunts can make it, whatever, right? And so it's pretty cool. And um, uh, other than that, you know, we're already cheapest in the industry for this as well. And our blogs, I feel, are the coolest as far as like the banners go and stuff. It's just really fun blogs to make. All right, so what we're going to do is Clifton's going to go to his screen, and we're going to show you guys how easy, because like I said, a lot of you guys haven't set up your blog yet, how easy it is to get started creating your blog. And then for those of you guys who have been making your inner circle video or inner circle story post, uh, we're going to show you how that will be turned in here at the end of this as well. If you guys don't know what we're doing for inner circles, if you're at the inner circle level, you can create a story post which will go on our blogs that you get created automatically. It's our affiliate blog. And like I said, Clifton said there's 450 on there. So literally, when we start really pushing these blogs and really get you guys blogging, there's going to be, you know, I visualize literally thousands being created every single week. And uh, <laughs> having your story out there is just, it's ridiculously powerful for those because all we're doing is pushing a button you'll see, and bam, these blogs are going to pop up. And your story being under the section of why you joined or either your success story is going to be huge for your branding as well as it's going to help the person who's creating that blog because that's just another success story, another why they joined story for more testimonials and, and just really the good family feel that we have going on here. So, Clifton, go ahead and show us what's up, brother, and um, let's get this rocking. And then I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about, you know, how I crafted my story and things like that, you know, just to give you some more details because what's cool we're going to give you guys another few days because I know a lot of you guys have got to the point where your story's out there, but I want to make sure I go over my story to kind of make sure that you guys got it down properly. And then Friday's when we're going to go. This Friday, we're going to actually insert these posts. So what, how it works is every time somebody pushes create a blog and these automatic blogs come up, if your story's not in, 
then your story won't be included on that blog. We'll have to manually put that in. Okay, so that's the that's the power of getting it in faster, getting it now, getting it rocking. So go ahead, Clifton. Are you, give me give me give me give me a couple more minutes while I um, check okay. something out. All right, cool. Go ahead and ask me any questions you guys have on the right on the right of the YouTube video. This is so freaking sweet. I love this. So if you guys have any questions while Clifton's getting everything set up. Uh, let me know. I'm just going to look through a few of them. I see you guys. No blogs compared to ours. True statement. <laughs> True statement. <laughs> that's what I'm talking uh, about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's yeah. see. Everybody's pumped for you, Clifton, doing this magical stuff. Let's see. Maybe someone needs a video. Let's see. Kind of... Oh, yeah, Paula, for sure. I'll do a video on how to do this Google Hangout later because this is cool. I mean, I love how easy this was. <laughs> I see you guys are just all, I don't see any questions. Actually, I'm about 30 seconds to late, so let me know if you guys have any questions from now. Yeah, I'm, al like I'm almost done here. Everybody's just pumped. Would we get backlinks from all those blogs? That would be something Clifton would have to ask. And I think we were talking about putting in like a reblog feature too in the future as well, weren't we, Clifton, for backlinks yeah. and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. One thing that's uh, really been concentrating on for the last couple of days is... Um, actually having, uh, really enforcing the engagement along with um, uh, a lot of syndication between all the, because we have so many people inside of our community, and actually enhancing the, uh, the engagement and syndication between everybody in the community. So everybody in the community is not just building their own little blog and sitting on their own little island hoping that, you know, other people just inside the community and other people outside the world come and visit their blog, but actually help them get traffic by driving people inside of our community to their blog. So that way it'll give it'll give you a chance to explore other people's blogs and give those people a chance to explore your blog. Yeah, that's going to be powerful. Yeah, I was seeing I didn't really pay cuz it's so funny that here's something that's super powerful. If Clifton didn't have a blog, right? This is how powerful blogs are. If Clifton didn't have a blog, I would have never found him, right? And Island would have never been created. I was just thinking about that today. I messaged Clifton and I was like, I can't believe this. This is so cool that this company's, you know, hub is based off of like blogging, right? And without a blog, without Clifton having one, I would have never found him online trying to get help for blogging and we would have never had this company. So this is everything. I mean, blogging is everything as far as having a home online and being able to build relationships and connections. And uh, Steve Barnes and Jeremy, who's out there, I'm sure watching, they formed a JV partnership from their blogs and their videos and their, you know what I'm saying? Like blogs just, it's so much more than just, you can't look at it as a, a little blog, right? It's just everything about it with your presence and connecting and your presence as far as like people seeing you and really, you know, taking value in you, it's everything. And so without my blog, I mean, I'd be nothing. I'd have nothing. Without this, without Clifton having a blog, we wouldn't have this company. I wouldn't have met him. So it's just, you got to understand this isn't just, writing a little story post tonight what we're going to be talking about and doing a little blog. This is everything. I mean, it can change your life doing this stuff. So it's it's powerful, Clifton. Isn't that crazy, though, when you think about it? I mean, if you didn't have a blog, this company would have never been here. Yeah, I mean, if and I've, I've been doing it for a long time. And uh, when you – I never even thought about it until you actually brought it up today. And I'm like, wow. I turned around and I told Ashley because Ashley actually – her desk is right here behind me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I turned around and I said, you know what just – you know what Vince just told me? He said if – if if I never if I never created my blog and I wasn't blogging and just you know sharing my knowledge and everything, then he wouldn't have you know organically found me and mm. then you know hit me up and uh, and then we just kind of built a relationship from there and then that's when uh, the whole idea for ILN spawned and that's crazy uh, yeah and I was just like wow now we're giving people we're giving our community the you know, the same opportunity to be able to you know establish relationships and you know JVs and everything with other people inside the community and uh, you know outside so it's powerful yeah it's just ridiculous I love it this is a it's a perfect full circle it was so full circle for me today when I thought about it it's insane yeah. so all right uh, all right. let me grab my coffee real quick and then I will show you these blogs all right. Yeah, but I gotta go grab something to drink. I'll be right back, fam. Ask us. Uh, actually, just talk talk some amongst yourselves over there on the right. Let make sure you're here, logged into YouTube, so you can talk over there. This is super fun because I'm just watching your comments just blow up and stuff. So I'm gonna be right back too. All right.
I am coming to look at you guys commenting. All right, awesome, cool. All right, does anybody have any questions for me right now uh, before I go ahead and get started? I'm going to wait until Vince gets back um, to get started so we can check it out, and we're recording this as well, so anybody that um, uh, wasn't able to make it tonight will get a chance to uh, get a chance to, to see this recording. So some of the things I'm going to cover tonight is I'm going to go through the steps. A lot of you, I think, have already created a blog. Um, let me move my mic or my camera so I'm looking into you guys. I got two screens here, and uh, if you don't have multiple screens and it's within your budget, then uh, I would suggest getting more than one computer screen, uh, one with more than one monitor. It's just it has literally at least doubled my productivity because I'm able to, you know, have two different things. In other words, I'm discussing with, uh, you know, uh, uh, with Vince, talking about ILN on one screen while I'm programming on another, and just vice versa. It's, it's really cool. So uh, anyway, I typically have my webcam over on the other monitor, but I'm going to be working on this one tonight, so I want to make sure that you guys can look right into my, right into my eye. So let's see. All right, questions? Uh, Singapore, Asia and Singapore, cool. Thunderstorm, oh, that's not very cool. Go Clifton, you rock, yes. All right. Um, we're going to learn how to submit our blog story tonight. Yes, Patty, uh, one of the things we're going to cover is how to submit your blog story. If you are inner, inside of the inner circle tonight, then you will, um, we will cover that and show you how to, how to um, type that out and then submit that and get it to us. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk, because some of these people that are on the webinar tonight have not created their first blog post, so I'm going to go over and show you guys how to create your first blog post, and then um, actually, I'm sorry, how to create your blog, and then how to create your first blog post, and then we're going to talk about how to export those that blog post so we can get it inside of the uh, the affiliate blog. Okay. Vince, you about, yeah, you about ready? Uh, i got to go to the restroom really quick, but you can go ahead. You just want to share right, your I'll go ahead. Just, All right. I'm just making sure everything was good, so. Yeah, all right, then I'll all go right. ahead and get started. All right. All right. Okay. All right, so here we are. Our first, I'm logged in to uh, my brand new account. I that's one way, one reason why I was delayed a little bit because I was originally going to start. I was really going to start using the account that I already have. But I think a lot of people that are going to be on tonight um, might, you know, are brand new. A lot of people that are going to be watching this recording are brand new, so they're going to um, need to know how to actually create their blog before they can get started. So as soon as they log in, they're going to come to a page very similar to this one, and um, they're going to be on this is your courses page. So a lot of you guys that are already in, you're familiar with this page here. And up in the top navigation bar, across right across the top here, there will be a link called create blog. Now if you already have blogs created, if you've already created your first blog, then you're going to see a link that says my blog. So you can hover over that and then the create blog link will appear. But if you haven't created your first blog yet, then you'll see this create blog link right up top. You click on it and it'll take you to a page just like this one. Now I recorded um, a video earlier that, uh, let's see, hold on. Okay. I recorded this video earlier and walked you through the steps on creating the blog, and I'm going to go through those steps right now with you guys, show you how simple it is. All right? Michelle wants to know what my favorite color is. Uh, I'd have to say blue, probably like everybody else. All right? Um, okay, so now the first step is the blog domain. So we get an opportunity to pick your blog domain. It says this will be the web address people will visit to view your island blog. So choose wisely, wisely because this cannot be changed. All right. So this gives you opportunity. So like if you um, if you want to typically people use their name. I already have one called Clifton Hatfield. So let me do Clifton Scott. All right. Now this will be the address for your blog. So if you want to hand out or give give out the address to your blog, it will be cliftonscott.internetlifestylenetwork.com or whatever the domain name is that you choose. Now I will say that you can set up your own custom domain and there's uh, some instructions once the blog is created there's instructions inside on how to do that. And a lot of people have been doing that. A lot of people have been adding their own custom domain there. So if you wanted it to be cliftonscott.com then you can actually set that up and it's not 
domain forwarding, it's domain mapping, which is a million times better. I counted. It's a million times better. All right, blog title. This. <laughs> I love that. that. I just want people to know this. That's huge because sometimes people will think of like, okay, so it's just going to cover up the domain so when it goes to other pages it's still going to say dot internet lifestyle network. This is like legitimately your own kind of custom blog. It's really cool. It's crazy. Yeah, this is this is uh this is next level. This is high level stuff. Um this is people will never if you don't want them to know that it's an internet lifestyle network blog, they will never know if you don't want them to know if if you want you know, to be to really take it to the next level, having your own custom domain is is priceless. And then you can pick up a domain at like GoDaddy.com for um, for about nine dollars a year, ten dollars a year, something like that. They actually run specials all the time, so you can Google um, GoDaddy promo codes. You might even be able to pick one up for like two bucks. Um, so they're they're you can get them for really cheap. That's per year. All right, so the next option is blog title. It says your blog title is what will appear within the header of your new island blog. If you're indecisive, you can change this later. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to title this Clifton Scott. How about just Clifton's blog? Clifton's blog. All right. Now, finally, the next selection is the blog templates. We've got three different templates here laid out for you guys, and over time, we're actually going to be adding more and more and more. But one thing I want to say is that each of these templates are, you can customize these, all three of these templates all the same. Um, however, the only difference is, is that the ILN template for beginners and affiliates and the, the Global Resorts Network template down here are already set up for you. They've already been customized for you. So if you're looking, if you're an ILN affiliate, which I hope every single one of you guys are, if you're ready to just create a blog specifically to promote the Internet Lifestyle Network and bring in sales and start building your team, then this is the blog that you'll want to choose because it's already set up for you. You just select that one and you just get rocking and rolling right away. Same goes for the GRN blog down here. Now, if you want to create uh, your own blog that's just maybe more geared towards an, another company or uh, maybe a hobby of yours, if you if you play the piano and you want to make a blog about pe you know your your uh, piano lessons or whatever it is, then you can choose this blog over here, which is more of like a, a, a blank slate. It's got just the basic configuration set up for you. So this is a, this is a great option, too, um, for those that feel like they're more advanced and uh, ready to really just customize it themselves. You can do every, all the same stuff. You, you can customize the header, the background, colors, buttons, links, um, all kinds of really cool stuff. So, uh, Vince, which one do you think I should choose? you think I should choose the advanced users, beginners, or the GRN? Definitely the affiliates, the uh -huh. island template. Yep. That's so. So if you're an affiliate, I just want you guys to understand, like this is the only thing you need to start out. If you're an affiliate, and you want to make money helping other people learn how to get their online presence through island. And so this is the main one that I would say that most people would want to get. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's you know it's it's so professional looking. Ashley created this one. It's already set up for you guys, so it's gonna be yeah. the, it's gonna be the easiest ones. I've seen some people try to just create their own and then make their own. Uh, ILN affiliate blog, yeah, and uh, you know, they're, yeah, they're spinning their wheels on it, and uh, it's just so much easier just to choose this one, mm -hmm. All right? And then just click create blog. And another thing, guys, like when you're creating that affiliate blog, don't worry about it staying like that forever. If you want to change it, that's the nice thing. So it's really kind of it's still a template in a sense, so you can kind of see, okay, so here's the header, here's where I could change the header, here's the sidebar, here's where I could. So it's nice to at least I would like at least start with it no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Even if you think you're going to change it later, because you can change everything. It's not that blog forever. Okay, I just want you guys to understand that. And another thing, when Clifton said these are custom blogs, this is a literal custom blog. You're not going to see some title on the top that says "Log into the Internet Lifestyle Network." Okay, this is literally a custom blog. See, a lot of people think, "Oh, this is just another one of those blogging services." This is a legitimate custom blog because there's no branding on the bottom. There's no branding on the top. I mean, it's literally your blog it's really freaking amazing so all right yeah yeah that's right I mean if you don't want anybody to know they only, they can go to your blog and they would never know that it's an internet lifestyle network blog um, it does come with it does say at the bottom powered by internet lifestyle network.com but I have a tutorial that Vince was referring to that lets you take that off mm -hmm. um, so we don't have any restrictions or anything like that you can you can um, you can you can remove that as if you want. So you saw it took about what about 15 seconds for that uh, blog to be created. So now you have a full blown blog created. Let's we can actually take a look at it. <laughs> 15, Boom! Right there. So here's 15 my seconds. 
here's my blog, cliftonscott.internetlifestylenetwork.com. And uh, you know, if you want, you can, you know, if I can, if I had a custom domain for this, I could change that as well. Um, so here, it's all set up for me already, and I can actually start driving traffic to this and start capturing leads inside of here for people to um, hit me up, and I could follow follow them up uh, for the for um, ILN affiliate. Mm -hmm. So I'll now go back to that really quick, Clifton. Yep. All right. You see the top where it says success stories and why they joined. Okay, that's really important. I want you guys to see that. That's where we're going to be adding your very own stories. Okay, so you see my story right there, how going after the internet lifestyle allowed me to start living the dream. So you guys are crafting and you guys have already known you've been crafting your stories if you're at the inner circle level, which is a ninety five dollar a month level. And we're going to put your stories down on that. So every time somebody clicks create, your story is going to go on there. It's huge for your branding and it's huge for other people as well who are just starting to have more stories of you know success or more stories of why they joined Island. So super powerful. We'll talk about more about that later. But that's where your stories are going to be going and how you turn those in. All right. So All right, so this is just confirmation. Perfect. You successfully created your new ILN blog. So you can read all through this if you want, just a little bit of details, and then click next step. Okay, awesome. So now you can see that uh, I am inside of my new blogs dashboard right here. Now uh, there's some tutorials here right here that you can walk through um, and watch each one of these. It doesn't cover every single thing, but um, these tutorials will help you to get started. That's really what that was there for. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to talk about is actually how to create your first blog post. So you ready to get started on that, Vince? Let's rock it. All right. So inside the dashboard, over here on the left-hand side, we've got posts. I'm going to click on Add New. My dog is wearing me out. I'm going to go <laughs> put her up. I can hear her. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. Now we're on Add New Post. So this is going to be our first blog post that we're going to create, and it's going to publish right on to the home page of our blog. All right, so title. I'm going to title this, I Love ILN. I know a lot of you guys love ILN, every single one of you, I hope. So we're going to do I Love ILN. All right, so this is the title. This is, for example, let me go back to the home page to show you guys. Now, a lot of you guys probably are familiar with this, but some people that are watching this aren't going to know exactly what I'm even talking about a post title. So this is the post title right here for Vince's post. Here's another one. Welcome to your new island blog. That's a post title. So I'm going to name this one I Love ILN. All right, now down here inside the post editor, this is the post editor where you're actually going to write and publish your content for your new blog. And what I'm going to do is instead of writing out a bunch of stuff, I'm just going to go to you can grab some Laura Ipsum which is just some, some dummy text. It's not real. But I'm going to fill this baby up with some text so you guys can see really what it looks like. All right. So I filled this up with some text. And now one thing that I'm going to do is that looks super boring. If I click preview, give it a second, let it load. All right. You can see this looks super boring. Nobody wants to read a post like this. If we go back and we look at Vince's post, He's done a great job. He's added his video up here. He's got he's got some color, some highlighting. Scroll down. He's got photos, more videos. He's got some headings here. All that stuff that's, that makes makes it for a lot more exciting reading. It's gonna keep people more interested, and it's actually gonna drive them down the page to continue reading. So if he's if somebody's reading, they get down here and they're like, man, man. Oh, and then they see a picture and they're like, oh, what's this picture? They're gonna scroll down. There's mm -hmm. this picture. And they're gonna just keep on reading. So it's important to add stuff. See. If you leave it like this, it's pretty boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to walk through real quick on how to add some um, some of those features inside of there. All right, so we've got the title here. One of the things that you want to do is you want to add, start adding headings inside of your uh, your content area. Now, if I'm going real fast for you guys, I apologize. Um, if I went really slow, then we would be here until two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because uh, we know how Vince is after these webinars. Uh, <laughs> he'll talk until the sun comes up. All right. So, but this is going to be recorded, so you guys will be able to watch it again. Stop, pause, go through all of this stuff. Um, but I definitely want everybody to watch this recording because there's going to be a lot of really powerful stuff that I'm going to de de deliver inside of this webinar. And all right. So, real quick, Clifton, yeah. I got some questions already about adding tracking links. We'll show you guys that here in a second. We're just going to go over how simple it is to make a post once your blog's up. Literally, I mean, if you noticed, if, if Clifton wasn't 
walking us through this step by step and you knew what you were doing, it would take you literally about a minute to, probably not even a minute, like a few seconds to create your blog, go in, write some content, boom, you're done. I mean, it, it just as fast as you have content ready, it's amazing. So, all right, go ahead. Yeah, and Vince, if you keep an eye on the comments for me in case yeah, somebody totally. says that, that'd be awesome. All right, so now, naturally, as we write, we're going to naturally break up, break things up into paragraphs. So as you're writing your story, and I'm going to talk specifically about your story that, that the uh, Inner Circle member is going to be publishing on the affiliate blogs. So you're going to be sharing your story and or the reason why, why you joined. So naturally, as you write, you're going to be writing a story, and a story is broken up into basically chapters, chapters of, you know, of your life and, and about you. So what you want to do is you want to title those chapters with, so you've got, I've got my main title up here, but then this first one might be, I'm just going to title it In the Beginning. All right? And what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is highlighted, just like I showed you in Vince's, in Vince's post. So I want to make this sure this is big and bold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the toolbar and I'm going to click on the kitchen sink icon, the kitchen sink. So everything about the kitchen sink, right? So I'm going to click on the kitchen sink icon and it's going to give me some more options here. Inside of this drop down menu, I'm going to select heading three, for the, actually heading two for this one. All right, and you see that it naturally made it bigger and bold. So it's going to catch your more more somebody's attention as they're reading. They're going to know that as they come into this section that it's going to be uh, maybe a new chapter in the story or gives them an idea of what this following paragraph is going to be about. So uh, typically your titles are going to be something that are going to grab somebody's attention, uh, maybe some keywords that uh, shout out to somebody that are going to want to read that paragraph. So in the beginning it might be a little bit boring, but um, you guys can get creative and really just play around with it and see what kind of titles you can come up with to describe the paragraph that's coming up or the chapter of your life. So this next paragraph I'm going to put um, the biggest reason why I joined ILN. And actually what I'll do is I will say Internet Lifestyle Network uh, for keyword purposes, which is going to help with uh, SEO, search engine optimization. So I'm going to highlight that whole thing. I'm going to make this one a title heading two as well. And let's do the final one. And I'm just going to say that... Um, um, joining ILN has changed my family's life. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing for that one. Heading two. All right. Now you can already see this is already looking better. If I preview it again real quick, you can see it's already looking better. See, I've got these, now I've got these titles here. So as somebody said, I love Ilin. In the beginning, okay, so this is about the beginning of his life. Um, then the biggest reason why he joined in there, okay, well, I want to know why he joined Ilin, so I'm going to read through this, and then, whoa, Ilin's changed his family's life. Okay, I want to read that, too. I want to learn more about that. So that's why that's why these headings are so important, you guys. Uh, I've gone through a lot of the blog posts that have been published. By the way, uh, as of the, this video right now, um, we're, we're at about almost 1,700 blog posts have been published just in the last several weeks, which is mind-boggling to me. I was not, I was not expecting to see a number that's like that. So that's, I was shocked. Um, so anyway, um, I want to make sure you guys are, are really writing good, effective blog posts, especially when once we get these um, out for the inner circle from the inner circle. All right. So now we've got these titles in here. Now one thing that I want to do is I actually want to add an image. We all love images. We love to see images, um, and they uh, give a um, just a good visual for the post that we're talking about in this article. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add an image. All right. Now to add an image, what we're going to do is quick and yeah. real quick. Yep. Richard just says, so are these blogs just for testimonials? No, Richard. We're just talking about a testimonial right now, just for an example. These blogs, I mean, literally, you'll get on here a good, obviously, if you're an affiliate, you're going to want to do a great story about why you joined ILN or your success. But after that, then it just becomes about you, you know, your why, what you're doing, maybe your own company, maybe whatever. It's just these blogs are set up to naturally, as you blog, capture people's attention on, you know, how these people are getting paid and, and play to be on the Internet, right? And then over here on the right, same difference. So... As you just kind of naturally bring people to the blog, they're going to see the header, they're going to see the sidebar, and they're going to want to log in, or they're going to want to see what ILN is, and naturally you just, that's kind of the whole passive thing with 
making sales online. It's a beautiful situation where you're just blogging about stuff you love and naturally this blog works for you. People will opt into it and they get taken to the sales presentation for ILN. You get commissions. Sometimes you're not even going to be around. You might be sleeping. You might be hanging out with your family. So automated income really is it comes down to setting your blog up to leverage that way. So hopefully that makes sense. All right. Okay, cool. Rock and roll. All right, so uh, where was I? Okay, so adding an image, all right? Uh, adding an image is actually really simple. I've seen a lot of people doing it, but I'm going to go through these steps because if you don't know the steps, you, you won't know how to do it, all right? So what we want to do is I want to add an image to the right-hand side of this paragraph right over here. So the biggest reason why you're cut, Clifton. You're cutting out on me. I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. Google, am I doing that? Doing better? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the deal. I wonder if your internet's going crazy. I don't think so. I hope not. Is it? Does the audio just sound spotty? Like I'm, like bad cell phone service or something? There you go. You're back now. You're good. All right. All right. Yeah. Cool. It must have just been the internet or Google. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'm going to show you. Where Where did I get cut off? Uh, you were good. You only lost a couple seconds. So. All right, cool. All right, so let's say in this this biggest reason why I joined ILN is because I want to go sailing around the world. So what I want to do is I want to add a picture of a sailboat over here on the right hand side of this article. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my carrot or my you know my cursor or my carrot right here in front of this paragraph. All right, so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it blinking right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Add Media button up here at the top and it says drop files anywhere to upload or I can click on the select files button and navigate to the picture I want to upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this, drop this picture of a sailboat right into here once it turns blue. See it uploaded and it's already selected for me. Now every blog comes pre-installed with all of these banners already in this really awesome picture of Vince right here too. So <laughs> as, we, if, as we start uploading people's stories, will theirs go in there too or how's that going to work? Yes. Okay. yes it will. So yes, there'll be tons will. of different content to pull from. That's cool. Yes, it will. So right. it's already selected for me. So now all I need to do is over here on the right hand side is I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to say ILN uh, let's see. How about I? And it's important that you guys title these images too uh, for search engine uh, purposes. I joined ILN to sail my boat. And what's great about sailing your boat around the world is you can still work your ILN business from your boat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I got, I got a question. George, did I do SEO with my blog? So, George, that's a good question. I've never, I know an SEO and I know enough to just be semi dangerous but not really dangerous. And so I've never got totally into the SEO thing. I've always been, I've been really good with SEO with videos on YouTube, which is a lot of what got my traffic. But Facebook, what I teach in the back office about Facebook, I've just been so viral with the stuff that I do on Facebook. And that's why I teach Facebook so strongly. Um, but as far as SEO goes, I've never been really huge into it. I know that Clifton's done. Pretty good at SEO. Did, did you really try on SEO, Clifton, when you started? Um, I just use. I just really just do the basic. Um, yeah. A lot of just the basic stuff. Even um, going down to um, images, file names, naming those file names with keywords, doing the titles and stuff, the alt text things I'm showing you guys right now. Mm -hmm. um, the headings. Just all I did was just really the basic um, on-site SEO. Okay. Yeah, see, yeah, that's kind of how I was. I mean, SEO really, search engine optimization, it just stands for, you know, people being able to find your stuff on Google when they're searching for help. Like, the way I found Clifton was I typed in WordPress help, really, and I found Clifton, one of his blogs came up, right, and his main blog came And so I found him, and it helped me with WordPress, and that's how I naturally find him. So whatever you're into, it's kind of how you figure that out. But what's cool is, uh, we got a couple guys who are crazy SEO guys, and they're going to do a really good training in the inner circle for you guys, a step by step on how to just really be an expert at it. And uh, we're going to launch that out here probably within the next week or so. So, you guys who want to get real technical with your blogs and want to get super search engine optimized, they're going to teach you all the crazy <laughs> languaging and tagging and all that stuff because there's a ton of money. One of our top affiliates, Brad, uh, he all he's done is SEO for Internet Lifestyle Network and people naturally find it and that's how they've joined. He's never talked to them, he's never done Facebook, he's never done any of that stuff, he's done SEO. I'm just more of like a personal, in-your-face Facebook kind of guy. 
so for those of you guys who just want to blog and love writing and want to learn SEO, we're going to have that in there for you guys as well. So uh, just on a side note, I want to throw that in there. Now, one more question, Clifton. Does this apply to the custom blogs, any of this stuff right here that we're doing? Does this apply to the custom blogs as far yes. as, yeah? Yes, Paula, I saw your question there. Um, yeah, it does. All of this stuff that I'm covering right here, once the blog's been created and I'm talking about actually creating and setting up your first blog post and adding these images and SEO and all that stuff, all of this stuff is it goes across the board. So this is um, for the elite, the big um, custom blogs that so many of you guys have already gotten. So if you guys have a custom blog, then definitely pay attention to all this stuff because it totally applies to you as well. Right on. Cool. Nice. All right, so... Um, so I, I added a title in here and a, the alt text. The title, if you guys ever hover over something and if you ever hover over a link and a little um, tool tip appears, of course none of these, none of this stuff has it, but when you, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. When you hover over a link and you'll see a little tool tip appear next to your mouse or your cursor, uh, that's the title. So we're going to title this. The alt text is the alternative text. So this is primarily for people um, with accessibility, for accessibility reasons, maybe handicapped that um, are using some sort of screen reader. They can't visually see a web page. They can still know that this is an image of a sailboat um, by titling the, uh, or by applying the, uh, the alt text. So uh, there's SEO benefits to both, for both of those. Now alignment, this is the important part. Remember I told you guys I was going to put this to the right of the paragraph, so I'm going to change this alignment to the right side. And link to, I don't want this image clickable, so I'm going to change it to none. If you did want it clickable and you wanted it to go to like your Facebook fan page or something, you could put in custom URL and you could type in um, your Facebook fan page here or whatever you want. But I'm going to just go ahead and leave this one to none. All right, now size. This is important, guys. Um, you have several different sizes here. Now these are the full size, the cover photo, the large, these are all going to be way too big. I'm actually going to just, just going to choose the 150 by 150 pixel uh, thumbnail right here. And I'm going to click insert into post, the button down in the lower right hand corner. You can see it added the photo right there on the right hand side. So you can already see this is this post is really starting to come together. It's already starting to look really great and has way more SEO benefits than before. So there's that awesome picture of that sailboat right here. and if I hover over it, I don't know why my title is not. Maybe it's my browser. Anyway, all right. So now let's um, let me talk about a link real quick. And let's see. All right. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to make a link inside of my content area. Now, all you need to do to actually add a link to your content is to highlight the link. Well, let me go ahead and just I'll just type something out here. I'm going to type in visit my Facebook page. All right. Now I want to make this a link to my Facebook page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to click on the uh, insert edit link icon right here, which looks like a chain link. I'm going to type in the address to my Facebook page. Let's see, what is it? There we go. I'm going to title that as well. Keywords, guys. Remember, keywords. All right, now I want, when somebody clicks on this link, I want it to open up in a new tab or a new window so they're not taken away from my blog because that can be important for so many different reasons. I'm sure Vince can list them all for you if you really want to know all the reasons. Right, Vince? <laughs> yeah, <there's no> <laughs> uh, he's always telling me, make that open up in a new link. Make that open in a new, new tab. Oh, dude, anything you do on your blog, make it open in a new link. Just ingrain this in your mind right now. Never, ever, ever make a link that doesn't go off that doesn't go open in a new tab because you want people to be on your blog as long as possible okay so make sure it's always clicked open a link in a new tab open a link in a new tab every freaking time yeah you don't want them taken away from your blog so yeah. all right so we've got that in there just click add link you can see right there it's it's uh, created and made it a link for me all right so that's how easy that is all right we're now, quick on that Clifton when yep. you guys are turning in your inner circle uh, stories, just for our ease, don't link anything before you sh export your story here that we're going to show you. Just try not to do that for us because that will be easier for us. Because if you don't link stuff, then we won't have to unlink everything as we import those stories that you guys are turning in. All right, just want to send that real quick. So go ahead. Yeah, good point. I just I wanted to make sure you guys knew how, especially yeah. people that are uh, that are going to be uh, watching this later. All right, now this has been such a oh. 
this has been such a huge question for everybody, and a lot of people are posting this in the group. One thing um, is adding video to your post. So if you look here, and let's go back. Actually, let's go to blog, uh, yeah, Vince's blog post. All right, so he's got a video right up top here. So some people are asking, how do you add a video to your blog? Well, there's mm -hmm. several different reasons, and actually, um, inside of the help tab, I actually cover that as well up here. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. There's, I'm going to show you two ways in this video. All right. So one way is to um, head over here and click on the text tab. All right. Decide where you want the video to go. So if I want the video to between to go between, uh, let's see, my between my last paragraph or above my last paragraph, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop it down a couple, put my carrot on its own line right here. And then I'm going to head over to the YouTube video or uh, wherever the video is, and I'm going to copy the web address right up here, the, the URL right up top here. All right? Just that. You're not going to grab the embed code for this, for this method. All right? You're going to grab the URL right up top here. All right? Now let's go back, and I'm going to paste it right in here. There we go. Go ahead and do that. This has to be on its own line, guys. This web address has to be on its own line. If I typed visit my video right here, it won't work. It has to be on its own line, nothing else. All right? So let's go back to visual. All right. So you can see there it is. Now that's method one on how to add a video to your content. Now method two, the second option is to scroll down here and there is an embed code box here. This is where you would embed the YouTube code. All right. So let's head back over to this YouTube video. We're going to click on share. We go to embed. And then I'm going to copy this code right here. And I'm going to paste that in there. All right. And now I'm going to let's go ahead and check out this blog. Oh, well, I published it. That's all right. And I'm going to show you guys this what this post is looking like. All right. So the two different method, methods. So this was method number two. When I embedded it into the uh, embed code box, when I, when I pasted that right into there, it's going to place the video above your post title right here. You can see it placed the video up here. The other one that I placed above the last paragraph, you can see it's right there. So that's been a huge question. If you guys see people asking about that, um, you can help give them a helping hand and tell them how to do it um, or have them um, contact support or watch one of our video tutorials and I'll show them how to do it as well. All right, so that's how we add videos. All right. Now, let's see. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is, uh, is there anything else, Vince, that uh, you think I should cover over here in the content area? Uh, not right now. For some reason, your screen got all blurry. I don't know if your internet's struggling or what's going on. Shouldn't be. I go got back it. to your face really quick and then go back to share screen. Maybe that'll help. I'm not sure. I got it cranked up to... Um... There we go. How am I looking? Am I looking blurry? Yeah, you're super blurry. Like yeah, I wonder, like, what, I wonder what's going on with that. It's like super pixelized. Hmm. Your internet must be hurting tonight. You have like crazy fast internet too, which is weird. Yeah, I got like the fastest internet that they provide. Um, okay. Well, let's just keep on. All right. Keep on cranking. I swear this dog is is going nuts tonight. All right, there we go. Come here. Okay, now, this is really important, guys. I think everything that I say, I'm going to tell you it's important. But uh, this is important over here, categories. All right? It's really important that you categorize your blog posts. Think of categories as a big filing cabinet. And every single post or article that you write inside of your blog needs to be filed away and organized and stored. The way you do that is through categories. So for this one, um, I would create a new category and I would call this, um, how about, categories are going to be real broad, they're not going to be real specific. So I would title this one, um, how about, just island story. Category was something that I got confused at when I first started blogging. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand the differences and you can boil down to, um, you can actually create 
um, child subcategories and everything else. But that's the best way that I can explain it is categories is like a filing cabinet. So if you mm -hmm. file your bills or you file um, newspapers or whatever, newspaper articles or something, and you want to keep make sure that they're all organized, then um, you would put them inside of folders. So if you think of each category as a folder, where would you put that um, inside your folder? Yeah, right, like so, for, for example, let me give you guys a good example of categories really quick. I'm going to go to my screen and show you. So like here's my blog. And each one of these up here are a category. So then when I blog, okay, I blog and then I just click a link and it goes into that category automatically. So when I talk about leadership, all the stuff that's about leadership will be under the leadership category. Okay, when I talk about Facebook marketing, all the stuff I talk about Facebook will be in the Facebook category. And if you look at, oops, I just realized that I didn't wasn't showing my screen. Okay, so one more time. When you're creating categories, guys, um, right up here, you're, you're going to want to think, this is for me, I don't know if Clifton, this is the way you think about it, but when I create categories, I think about my tabs that I'm going to have on my website. So I had the, I have a leadership category, I have a Facebook category, a LinkedIn category, a Google Plus category, I have a website slash blog category. So every time I write my blog post, I put it in whatever category it relates to. So if I'm talking just a leadership thought, then I'm going to put it in the leadership category. So all these are leadership categories, okay? And if I'm talking about Facebook, then I'm going to put it in my Facebook marketing all, and it's going to be all about Facebook marketing on here, and it automatically puts it in here so I don't have to manually go and put it where I need it. So if I go back to Clifton's screen, over there on the categories, you see how he wrote this post. He wrote this post about why I love ILN. So let's say that it was a leadership uh, post where it's about you know some leadership thought that you had, and you had a leadership category like I did. Then all you got to do over there on that category is on the right side is just mm -hmm. click the link or click the little X thing that says you know leadership or whatever. So it's just super simple. It's just a way to really file and organize your stuff and have it automatically go into the places that you want it to go. So it's, it's super cool. It's something that once I fi kind of figured it out, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Because normally, like, when I started out, Clifton, I started out building not a WordPress blog but, like, a regular website, and you have to manually put stuff in each thing, and it's so irritating to have it go into the right tab. And with WordPress, it's so cool. It's like... One, one tab, you just click that little check mark over there on the right, and it puts it automatically in that category. It's awesome. Yeah, very cool. So um, so we've got categories. Now the next one is tags. What's the difference between tags and categories? Tags are like a, a way of um, organizing and filing your articles into categories or into folders, so they're nicely and neat, nice and category. And then just like uh, Vince was saying, you can uh, use those for your uh, navigation bar, your menu across the top of your blog, and keep all of those organized in a you know specific uh, grouping. Now, tags are where you get more specific keywords. All right. So let's say I wrote a uh, let's say my article talks about Mark Overson and Vince and Clifton and ILN and um, um, the training that's in there and uh, all all of that. It goes through there. Then we can put all those tags inside of here. So these are just like really just like um, real specific keywords that uh, you would apply to this article. So like Internet Lifestyle Network is going to be a, a, a tag. ILN is a tag. You can go through and just add a ton of tags inside here, just like you would when you tag a, a, a YouTube video, for example. That's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. All right. And now you're these also you can actually view posts that are cat, that are grouped into tags as well. But that's not really what it's for. Um, it's really more specifically for the keyword aspect of it. All right. So I just added a, just a few tags there to show you guys. All right. Now featured image. I'm watching so many blog posts that are being published inside of the network right now that don't have a featured image, you guys. Set a featured image. It's really important because it's going to draw more attention to your to your article, uh, especially with some new features and some things that we've got rolling out inside of the network uh, that I'm not allowed to tell you guys about just yet. <laughs> is uh, it, It's going to really help you out with a featured image. All right. So what we want to do is to set a featured image. So click set featured image. Let me show something really quick, Clifton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm going to go to my screen again. So when Clifton's talking about a featured image, 
All right, so here's the island template right here on my screen. If you, you guys, well, I gotta turn this off really quick. All right, so here's the template here on my screen. And so when you guys are doing a featured image, that stands for this area right here where you can see my face right here. That's the featured image. So as people are looking through your blog role, which is like what is going on right here in the category, is um, they're not gonna wanna just see, like text doesn't really capture your attention. What really captures your attention is pictures. So if you don't add a featured image, this is no longer there anymore, okay? So this featured image is what Clifton's talking about right now. All right, so go ahead, brother. All right, so if we're gonna open up our media library again, and we're gonna choose an image. Uh, let's go ahead and do the sailboat again. I'm gonna click set featured image. All right, so now it's set my featured image, and just like Vince was saying, it's gonna be displayed. Um, let me go ahead and update, and I'll just show you guys. Let's go back to let's go back to the home page. All right, so here's the article that I just wrote. I love Island. You can see here. Here's the featured image that I mm -hmm. have picked. It's set right there. If I didn't have a featured image, then it will pull the first image. But um, other uh, parts throughout the network, you want to make sure you have a featured image there as well. Does it it automatically pulls one when you don't do it? Um. Yes. Try it just for the hell of it. I don't know if I've seen it differently. All right, so go ahead and remove that image really quick. Let me go. Let me try. If not, then um, there's a setting that can be enabled. But I thought that um, I thought that we had that enabled already. Yeah. Oh, so oh, I pulled the wow. YouTube video instead because I don't. Um, I've got. I'm. A, I have a video in there. Well, so I pulled the YouTube video clip in there. That's freaking sweet. I didn't know yeah. it did that. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so that's what the, that's for the featured image, you guys. So make sure you add a featured image to your articles. Um, it just when your article is being pulled somewhere out throughout the network um, or on your blog, it, you want to have an image associated with it as well. So um, there'll be more details about all that stuff later. Wow. All right, now if you really want to get hot and heavy with the SEO, I'm not going to go through and drill down through all of these unless you think I should, Vince. Nah, let's just but leave this it. Stuff, yeah, this stuff gets really gets more high level. There's um, more training on this. I actually have tutorials on how to use use um, this SEO box here. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's uh, there's some things down here that um, are going to be a little bit higher level uh, for you guys. But I just want to make sure that this video for all you get all the newbies on here that are watching know how to go in and just set up a, their first post and make it really beautiful uh, and to be able to uh, just get rocking and rolling. Yeah, totally. The um, when you did the embed video down there, I just want to go back down there again, Clifton. Yes. Right. That's, see, a lot of people are trying to embed that code on their main area, and that's when they're not seeing it come up, right? Like they're that, is to... that is correct. I'll cover that real quick. Now, yeah. if you – let me – oops, I meant to copy. All right, so let's copy that. And you, if you are familiar with um, using a, a WordPress website, then you're probably used to just coming up here and just um, going to your text tab and then just pasting in that embed code in there and, um, and then having that video show up after you update it. But it's not going to work. The reason why is because um, Island, the Island blogging platform is built on an entire network, an entire blogging platform network. Now, when we do that, we have to strip out certain things that could um, risk the security of the entire network. And... Um, tags like this iframe tag here. I'm gonna get a little techie on you guys. This iframe tag right here that's used inside of uh, YouTube videos. The same thing with embed tags and object tags. All of those can be used for malicious purposes. So bad things can happen um, inside of the network if somebody uses that. So this is for the security for all of you guys. That's why we have these two other methods to let you be able to add. YouTube videos or um, video Vimeo videos or there's all there's all kinds of places that you can add videos from YouTube obviously is the most popular but that's why we don't allow that because it's a, it's really a security risk to the entire network to everybody that's that's inside the platform and the visitors uh, we don't want people putting malware and all that stuff inside of their posts even whether it's on purpose or by accident mm -hmm. um, so that that's why that that you have to if you want to use the embed code you have to put it inside of here. Uh, because it's going to check and it's going to strip out any of that stuff. Awesome. Yeah, so I just want to make sure you guys know, if you're going to put in a video, make sure it's in that embed code under the Apprentice custom settings right there. All right, because I saw a lot of people do that. Now, uh, clicking on the general settings were right above it, that image, where does that go when you put an image in there? Right, you see what, you know what I'm talking about? 
this is an this is an alternative to using the uh, featured image. This uses will use um, different cropping methods, or this is more advanced. Uh, okay. This will use different cropping methods and also different uh, delivery methods um, outside of the featured image. But I only cover the featured image because that's that's what I recommend. Uh, like I said, this is going to be more advanced. This is where you're going to go in if you want to uh, mess around with this. Then you would come up in here appearance and go to advanced. Uh, All right, cool. So that's what that is. See, so you see, here's different cropping, different cropping alignments and everything too. Um, down here, since we're down here, I'll go ahead and talk about the uh, the layout. You can actually change the layout of your post if you don't want the sidebar to be displayed on your post at all. Then you can choose this this little box here that looks like a full screen. If you want the layout to have a sidebar on the right where all your widgets are, when I'm talking about sidebar, I'm talking about this area over here on the right hand side. Okay, well, let me go to a post. My browser's acting goofy on me. There we go. All right, so over here on the right-hand side, this is this is the right sidebar. If I wanted to get rid of that, then I would choose this first option. If I want that sidebar to be on the left-hand side for this post, I can choose it. Choose this option right here, and it's going to do that. Um, same goes for these uh, sharing buttons. If I want to remove the sharing buttons, then I would uncheck that. Sharing buttons are the. Actually, I don't even have them set up for this blog. That's a whole other video tutorial. <laughs> but yeah. uh, sharing buttons like Facebook, uh, Google Plus, Twitter, um, you can you, you name it, it's on there. Um, there's a tutorial on how to set those up. If you don't want them to be shown on your blog post, you uncheck that. I don't really know a reason why that you wouldn't want your stuff to be shared, uh, but there's an option for you as well. And for those of you guys who are like thinking to yourself right now, like, oh my god, we're covering so much stuff, don't worry, we're going to break everything down into like little bite-sized pieces for you guys and throw that yeah, back totally. in the apprentice. So tonight is just really about going over and giving you the, the little picture, but you know, as a reality, once you start doing this, I have a video online on how to create a blog post and I forget how many minutes and seconds, but it's like under two minutes. Usually it takes me, I don't know, two and a half to five minutes to do my blog post. So once you get cruising, I mean, it's like, it takes nothing, so we've just been going really step by step through it. All right, so I'm just looking at some questions. Is there anything else you wanted to cover really quick, Clifton? Because I want to go over the inner circle and turning that in. Um, yeah, no. Are you going to talk to them about the category? Yeah. What do you? What do they need? So first off, those of you guys who don't know what's going on, um, the inner circle. So if you're at the ninety-five dollar a month level and you're you're invested in the inner circle, you're going to be able to write a story and get that on these blogs where people are clicking create. So every time these blogs are getting created, you're getting a story posted, which is amazing for Google rankings and just you being present online, which is, I can't tell you how powerful that is. Um, so what you're do, which a lot of people have done, and so we're going to give everybody till Friday since today we actually showed you how to do a blog post. And so you're going to have to transfer, you know, all those Google or all those, um, I'm sorry, all the, because a lot of you probably wrote it on a Word document. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create one of these blogs and you're going to need to write a post so you can actually create the whole post yourself and you can export it. So Clifton's going to teach you how to, once you get your post done and the way you want it looking on these blogs, so what you're going to do is you're going to create a blog like you saw tonight if you don't have one. And like it doesn't matter if you don't use this particular blog ever again because you can create unlimited. We're just making sure we get this post from you. And you're going to export it. Okay, And once you export it, you're going to send it to Heather and Heather's going to be able to import it into all these posts. So when people click create, bam, you're going to be under one of the categories, either why you're a success story or either why you joined or success story. And I have a, a full uh, document on that on the, I think it's like internetlifestylenetwork.com forward slash wow is the full document on how and to do that post. Let me see if this is the right one. Yeah, so I'm going to post this in the comments to the right of this YouTube video. If you go to that, well, I can't put links in here. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, so I'm going to go to my page really quick. All right, so if you guys go to internetlifestylenetwork.com forward slash wow, right here, this is the link that you're going to need to go to to see this document, and you'll see all of the, the rules and credentials and how to get on here. So we actually extended the deadline, so it's going to be this Friday now because we just finally taught you how to do the story post. Let me see here. What is Friday, Clifton? It is the 18th, and that's when we're going to get started on this. And this is also going to be an incentive 
So this is when we're going to start. Okay, so this is when we're going to start importing and exporting. So anytime, anytime after the 18th that you don't give us your story is going to be basically just another day where you've lost your chance to get, you know, because what do we probably have a day, Cliff, in like five or ten blogs a day right now, maybe? Oh, 20 yeah. At the, 20 at the height. Yeah. So as we're, this company grows, we, you know, like I said, maybe 20 is the max we have right now. But as this company grows, we're going to have hundreds of blogs getting created a day, which is you're missing out on hundreds of chances to get your story out there online, and that's more Google ranking, and that's just higher exposure. So really what it's going to be about is Inner Circle is going to be an incentive to turn your story video or story post in to get that created every day. So literally after the 18th, it's every day that you don't turn your, your post in is a day that you're missing out on literally 10, 20, 30 more blogs that you could have already been on. And then like I said, in the future, it's going to get up to you know hundreds of blogs a day that you're going to be missing out on if you're not getting your story post in. So this will give you internetlifestylenetwork.com forward slash while will give you the, the little rundown. For you guys to do that, and then we might cut it off, you know, in a couple of weeks or whatever. We'll just see how many come in, and uh, we'll just go from there. Okay. So other than that, what you got to do is, like we've been showing you guys, is do your story, and then Clifton's now going to show you how to export it out, so we can import it in. All right. Now on that document, I'm gonna uh, let's see, send your story to Heather. To... Yeah, so and we've got, let's see, a couple questions. Um, let's see, one question was, can I upload a plugin into the ILN blog? Um, same reason why you can't uh, put videos directly into your post editor is for security reasons. Um, because this is an entire network, we don't want people adding their own plugins because it could cause a... Uh, a security threat to the entire network. If we allow people to upload and add their own plugins, um, then it may affect other people in the network. However, we do also offer standalone uh, custom blogs that come with their own hosting account and, 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 and uh, custom designed headers, graphics, the whole package uh, where those people have full reign over their blog and they can add all the plugins that they want and, and need. So uh, there's an option for that as well. And then also Paula, uh, you were asking about the featured image and posting it in the wrong image showing up on Facebook. Um, you need to make sure that you have set a featured image. Now, you said that you did. However, if you set a featured image and it's not the right size, Facebook will reject it. It needs to be a nice, big image. Uh, also, if you have not set a featured image and then you share it on Facebook and then you set the featured image after you've already shared it on Facebook, it's not going to pull the new image. There's uh, you can you can send a support ticket to me, and I'll show you how to how to um, how to fix that on Facebook's end. That's not that's not our fault. It's uh, it's something that you have to do inside of your Facebook account uh, to fix that. So just um, send an email to support at internetlifestyle.com and uh, help you out with that. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where if you see on a quick little thirty second video how to it's called a Facebook debugger tool. Yeah. It just essentially like when you insert your blog, like or when you type your blog on Facebook and the wrong image pops up, and that's just Facebook caching the image from what it's seen before, which means it's it's gonna hold that no matter what. So you have to learn how to uncache it or whatever. It's super simple. So uh, we'll do a quick little video about that here in a little while on that. Yeah, um, actually I think I have a tutorial on, on, on all that as well. So okay, yeah. cool. um, okay, so let me talk about the exporting. All right, so um, like Vince was talking about that uh, now that you guys know how to uh, create a blog post and you're in the inner circle, if, you're, or if you are in the island inner circle, then you'll be able to write an article and export it, and we will, or Heather will, import it into the uh, affiliate blog. Let me show something really quick. That's this. I got a good question. Um, Julia said, Vincent, can you touch again on not adding links? So what you guys need to do is if you want, can they just go to this site really quick, Clifton, to look at my actual story post? Can they go to Template 2? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so go in there and check it out. if you guys go to template2.internetlifestylenetwork.com, you can actually see this actual story post that I did already for your example. So actually I can add this to this so you guys can see. Use my story as your example. So if you go to ten, if you go to that site, 
Maybe make this look a little bit cleaner. Okay, so use my stories. Go if you go to template2.internetlifestylenetwork.com, I should be able to make that clickable actually. All right, and you go there. Let me make sure that pulls up. And boom. All right, use this, Julia, and all you guys who are making these inner circle posts. So you have to be an inner circle to get under the success. Am I doing? Yeah, okay, good. All right, so you have to be an inner, inner circle to get under the success story or why they join. So you have to be at the inner circle level to get this opportunity. But use my blog post as your example. So when you go in here, you see I got a video on top, so we want you to definitely do a video on top. Then write a little bit, you know, but make sure that none of these have links to anything, okay? And really when you're doing uh, blog posts, you don't want to really put links to where people click off your blog. You want them to have to enter their email here to see what you have to offer. You want them to have to enter their name and email address to see what you have to offer because really the whole point of your blog is to help you capture leads so you can follow up and make sales. If people click off of your blog, you know, so see for example, there's no links on my blog. It's just some videos and stuff, but there is no links because I want them to opt in to the form so I can capture their email so I can follow up them. Think about how you guys are here watching this right now. If I didn't have your email address, I'd be screwed. I mean, there's no way we, we would have been able to communicate this message with you tonight. So just don't put any links in your blog post because, I mean, I don't really put links in my blog post no matter what because I want people to read this. I want them to go through my story. I want them to go through my post. And I want them to be like, all right, so how do I get more and connected with this guy? And then they kind of cruise around and they're like, oh, can we show you how to get paid? So boom, they're going to insert there. Oh, watch this free video. Okay, so this will probably give me more information about what he actually does, right? And so hopefully that makes sense. So you don't ever really want to put links inside of here. All right? So just want to show them that really quick. All right, Clifton. So show them how, once they finish their blog post, how they can export it and send that to us. All right, so there's a specific step on how to export this blog post that you're going to be writing for the affiliate for the affiliate blog. Now, once you've written your blog post that, that you're going to send to Heather uh, to be used in the affiliate blog, then what you need to do is we're going to categorize it into a specific category, okay? So to do that, click Add New Category. you got to go to your screen, Clifton. I can see your face. Aww. <laughs> All right, how's that? Perfect. Good. All right, cool. All right, so uh, where was I? Okay, category. So what we need to do for these for these posts that you're going to export is we need to create a specific category. The category has to be called inner circle. Okay. So click on add new category, and that is going to put this blog post inside of the inner circle category. Now, once you've done that and you've uh, published your blog post or updated it. So what the order I would do it is finish your post, love it, yes. see it, and then create this right afterwards. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, and then put it in the create the category inner circle and put it, make sure that it's checked and update it. Now what we need to do is we need to export this category. So over on the left hand side go down to settings and click on export. Now down here where it says post, we're going to click and choose post, and we're going to choose the inner circle category, okay? And then click export file. And then that's going to give you the option to save the file to your computer's hard drive. Once you save it to your computer's hard drive, then you'll be able to email it to Heather. And it's Heather at internetlifestylenetwork.com. Right, Vince. Yeah. That's who we're, we're sending it to. Okay, so once you once you export it and you download it to your computer's hard drive, save it to like your desktop, which will probably be the easiest place to find it. Just save it to your computer's, uh, whether you're on a Mac or a PC. Just save it to the desktop, and then you'll be able to email it from uh, from and upload it and email it to uh, Heather at InternetLifestyleNetwork.com, and she will go ahead and add those to the uh, blog. Cool. And go. Where do you go to that? Get to the export again. Just down here in settings in the left hand, lower left hand, and click on export. So okay. settings, export. And, and it'll then, take you to this screen. Yep. I'll go through it again. Okay. And don't choose all content. Okay? <laughs> don't choose all content. Choose posts. And then go to that inner circle category that you just created. All right? 
and this needs to be the only only uh, post inside of that category. If if you have more than one post in that category, then it will be rejected. We won't use it. Um, if you export all your content, we're going to reject it. We're not going to use it. So it has to be post, category, inner circle, and they're only your um, only your affiliate your uh, affiliate post needs to be in that category. And then just click download export file, and it's going to open it up. It's going to give you a chance to. Okay, uh, what kind of document is it? Like it's a, a it's an XML file. It's a uh, okay. Yeah. So when you guys see that that file, it's going to be kind of a weird looking file, but don't worry about it because it's not anything. Most people are used to like JPEGs and stuff, but yeah. And if you have any trouble, you guys can always con you know email support, and we can you know walk you through it. But that's that's how you that's how you do it. Um, just a couple steps, and then uh, once you download it on your desktop, then you'll want to email it to Heather, and she will. Take a look at it. Make sure that it's that it's right, and uh, and then upload it to the uh, affiliate blog, the affiliate blog template. Money. And what I what I'll tell you guys what too that I'm gonna do is let me go to my screen. All right. On this document right here, everything's about this document for this inner circles. Uh, putting this story in so you can get on these thousands of blogs, literally that are going to be created. Um, Go to internetlifestylenetwork.com slash wow, okay? And then I said send your exported file to Heather at internetlifestylenetwork.com. And then use my story as your example on how to write your post. And then I'm going to put another thing here that's going to say how to export your file. And I'm going to put the video here. I'm going to download what Clifton just showed. and uh, Or I might do another quick little video because it's super simple. And uh, put it right here just in case you need that help here in a little while. Um, other than that... Just go crazy. Like these stories are, I can't tell you like when you actually create these, how they make you feel at the end of it. I know a lot of you guys have been reaching out and saying like you're going deep and like people are having breakthroughs as they're writing them. And trust me, I know how you feel. Like when you're writing these stories, I mean, it, it just really brings you back. Now, some other people have said, well, you had like a story of victory, like you came out on top. No, what you need to understand is the way that you guys are coming out on top, if you don't have a victory story yet, is just the way that you feel about being part of this family, about being part of this community, and how you feel like, you know, what's going to happen in your future, where you're going to be going and stuff. Because if you don't have success that you can drive off of like this story, that's what happens. I mean, when I, when I became successful, I just kind of went off of, you know, like, Jonathan Budden, Mark Hoverson's deal, like, they're amazing people, blah, 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 here's why we're going to do this, and then I had some success, and I was able to leverage the success, okay? It should be so easy for you guys to make a little 14.95 sale to start having some success with ILN and, and just leverage off of that kind of little success. I mean, at the, the reality of it, I mean, this internet thing, like, a lot of people are thinking, because there's just so much crap out online right now, they're thinking that it's hard or whatever, and it's just, like, people are chasing all these different things, but you just got to understand, like, it's just about consistency and about really driving that focus of, you know, that's what I love about these stories. You'll have this story, and you'll drive this focus in for your own self to, like, where you're going with it, so it's going to be super powerful for that. Um, other than that, let me look at some questions. Uh, someone tell me between the custom blogs and the... Uh, ones available to Inner Circle. These blogs aren't just available to Inner Circle. These blogs are available to everybody uh, that are at the apprentice level as far as that question goes. But the difference between custom and this, Clifton, I mean, the main difference, you know, so many people ask and we're actually going to get like a cool little side-to-side -side chart on what the big difference is. I would say the big difference is just when you get more advanced, you might want to start adding like little plugins here and there which are like I don't know, it's like add-ons to your car or something if you wanted to go faster or look different or whatever, but um, the reality is if you're not an experienced blogger, you don't need a custom blog yet um, because you just, I don't know, you just really don't. Um, what would you say anybody who's just starting out, why would they ever need to get a custom blog out the gate if they don't want to have it yet? I mean... Well, um, the, the, the blog platform is a great place for people to just kind of get their feet wet Mm -hmm. um, and just see how well it's going to work for them. Uh, well, it's going to work awesome for you, but I guess how committed they will be in, in, in using it, how comfortable they are with blogging. But I'll tell you, I get asked quite often, actually, what's the difference between the custom blogs and this the ILN um, blogging platform, uh, which are two different things. 
the custom blogs, like the full blown custom blogs, have there's there's so much um, flexibility that's involved with it. They come with their own hosting account. Um, they also, which what that means is you can um, you can like Vince said, add your own plugins. You have full control. You can add multiple websites. You can add your own plugins. You get unlimited email accounts. So if you want. Um, let's say your name is John Doe, John Doe and you want John at John Doe.com then you can create John at John Doe.com you can create uh, John Doe at John Doe.com you can create unlimited email accounts with that um, so that's that's another thing which is huge um, you know, unlimited storage unlimited bandwidth all that kind of stuff is um, is part of it uh, the, so those are some of the some of the biggest biggest differ differences between the, just the ILN uh, blogging platform and then our big elite custom blogs um, and then probably you said the biggest was the the, the plugins but I would say um, the biggest for me would be the uh, the custom design graphics because the those custom blogs come with a fully customized uh, header and a fully customized uh, background which you can see Ashley say hi Ashley Ashley, right here, my beautiful wife. She um, is our um, our main graphic designer, and she handles all of those. And she works with those that purchase the custom blog. She works with you one on one to really get your custom graphics designed exactly the way you want. So with the ILN uh, blogging platform, you can still add your own like header and, and background and stuff, but um, you either have to do it yourself or you know hire somebody else to do it, which they're probably going to charge you who knows how much. Um, thousands of dollars if you want something as awesome um, as she creates. Um, so those are some of the biggest differences. Yeah, the next like I was showing you guys the other day on the thing like the next person that would be awesome for your blogs that we have now is Heather. Heather Martin. She does a. Uh, I don't know if I put it on this. Let me see. On that same document you guys are looking at right now. Yeah, I have it on the bottom. Heather's Island Graphics .com. She's doing amazing work as well. So what's cool about the custom blogs and what Ashley does is that if you look on, like for example, it's kind of like a little extra touch. So if you look at my, this is a custom blog right here, VinceNortegaJr.com, and if you look at mine, let me go back to where I make sure I stay on here. If you look at mine, like this bar right here, that's even customized. Everything just kind of flows a little bit cleaner because the whole thing's customized. When you do an ILN blog, like you can only customize this header up here. You can customize the header, but you can't really customize the bars, you know, kind of the same way in the side you can't really customize as much. But it's still like it's one of those things, it's kind of like comparing a Ferrari to a Lamborghini. I don't know. It's just like you still have situation. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's so hard to downgrade something that's amazing to say the custom is. Yeah, like, it's already. I don't it's know. Already it's really just, amazing. Yeah, like Clifton just made these apprentice blogs so damn good that it's like hard to explain. Like I don't even want to put them on like a different level anymore because they're just so ridiculous on both sides. But I don't know. You just can't go wrong. That's all there is to it. You know what I'm saying? And um, you're just. It's obviously going to be. When you go custom and you get fully custom graphics like that, like it's just going to be, you know, better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's like you can have Heather's graphics that are amazing, and then you can have Ashley's graphics that are amazing. I don't know. You know, it's just like one of those deals. Like it's just going to be great. You're you're going to be in a good situation all the way around. Uh, but we'll have like a real breakdown like of what the huge differences are, I guess. But for now, like, if you guys are in the apprentice level and you just want to get a custom branding going on, just go to heathersislandgraphics.com and let her design you up something pretty sweet. And then when you're ready to go next level, get the custom blog. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Let me see what other questions. Uh, there was one thing that I wanted to uh, mention. I don't think we've mentioned it yet. Is As far as these uh, these posts for the, from the inner circle, you guys, uh, it's really important because what's going to happen is when you when when these posts are being imported into the affiliate template that I showed you earlier um, it's only going to happen so as pe oh, let me it's hard to explain as people join the inner circle they will only get on blogs that are created after they join yeah the, the upgrade or, or just or become a part not really upgrade but become a part of the inner circle so 
Um, for all of the, so for everybody that's in Inner Circle right now, you're going to be, be all of the blogs that are created um, after, all the affiliate blogs that are created after Friday, you will, your story will be in those affiliate blogs. I hope, I hope that's making sense. So if somebody joins the Inner Circle uh, a month from now, they're not, their story is not going to be a part of all of the affiliate blogs before. So it's real, that, what my point is, is that it's important for everybody that wants to get involved in this opportunity to get in the inner circle right now. So, so you will be able to benefit the most from, from your story being on the most amount of blogs as possible. Um, I hope that's making sense. Vince, if it's not, uh, let me know. And if, if you guys are listening, that doesn't make sense, let me know. Yeah, uh, it, it pretty much makes sense. Well, I just want to make sure everybody like, knows that. Yeah, the bottom line is if you don't do this now, you're going to basically miss out on all of the next existing blogs that are coming up that Correct. will be automatically published out. So you're basically losing out every single day on not being out there more. Therefore, you're going to be basically losing more sales, more money yeah. <laughs> every we, single day. We can't add your post to a blog that's already been created. So yeah. that's that's why. Yeah, for sure. Um, let me see. I was going to go over something. Oh, Clifton, you have to actually do it since you're logged into that post. Uh, they want to know how easy it is to um, put in the... I don't know if you have a back office. Do you have an affiliate login at all, Clifton? Yes. Okay, so show them how quickly and easy it is to put in their affiliate links to these blogs really fast. All right. All right. And this is how simple it is. I mean, literally, you, these blogs are ready to go, like, from the get-go. So you just grab your affiliate link and stick them in there. And we'll mm -hmm. see. I'll show you really quick. All right. So I'm logged into my... Oh, wait. I need to show my screen. <laughs> the main thing tonight, guys, was just making sure you knew how to blog really fast and get these rocking and rolling so we yeah. can get these story posts going. And then we'll go over, like, the more technical details of putting in your um, Aweber and all that good stuff mm -hmm. here in a little while. So Vince, you've got this video here. This I think this video doesn't this video walk you through steps on how to get use some of this stuff. Uh, um, most I don't, of it. I mean, I don't yeah, remember. most of it. Okay. Which, so on the left hand side here, there's under resources, there's link generator. So if we click on link generator, it's going to show a li list of uh, your available affiliate links. And what we want to do is we want to copy your affiliate link for ILN. So let's see. Uh, here we go. The island homepage link is the one you want. For the, oh yeah, that's oh right. God, Jersey's freaking out again. There we go. All right, so I grabbed the island homepage link, which is the one right here. Yeah. This is this is going to take uh, people that click on this link. It's going to take them to uh, ILN, our Internet Lifestyle Network's homepage, and it's also going to cookie you wow. as the sponsor. So when they sign up, you will be their sponsor. Yeah. Uh, and you can of course get the commission for it as well. All right. So let's head back over to a blog post. Go to the, uh, I want to show them how to set up their widget, how to get it in their widget. Oh, um, oh, you want to show it for the um, for a, a banner? Yeah. So first, first show them what I'm talking about really quick, which is the banner on the side. So to see that oh. banner where it says, watch this free video, how you play and get paid right there. So when people enter their email, you want to get tracked <coughs> to the sale when they go and see our ILN homepage, which is like the latest video on the homepage of ILN. So you're going to not only capture their email, but you're also going to have them go through your cookie, which is the link, the affiliate link that Clifton just found. Okay, so go okay. ahead, brother. So that's what we're making sure we're putting it in there. Okay, so everything over here on the right hand side in the sidebar, these are your widgets. This is where you man this 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 is your widgets, and we're going to manage those. So over here in appearance, go to or hover over appearance and click on widgets. And there's several different widgets that uh, you can actually add, but if you chose the affiliate template, uh, we're going to have this one installed for you already. So all you need to do is click on this down arrow to expand it. And uh, there's actually several different color options that you can choose from. By default, it's black because the rest of the template's black. But all we need to do, it says enter your affiliate link or redirect link right here. So I'm going to paste in my affiliate link, my ILM affiliate link, right inside of this this field right here. Now there's another checkbox. Yes, I want Island to follow up with my leads. And they have the option. Now, 
to um, have the company follow up with your leads or you can follow up with the leads yourself. Now if you're brand new to internet marketing, if you're brand new to ILN, you're brand new to email marketing, which a lot of people are, a lot of people haven't even dove into that yet, mm -hmm. um, then I would highly recommend that you leave this checkbox checked so you'll let the company follow up with your leads. Yeah, it's so when somebody, huge, like you if know, you guys are just starting out, I mean it's such an overwhelming thing to get going with email marketing. And so I would have like, hoped and prayed and wished that somebody would follow up my leads for me when I started. So this is a huge feature that I wanted to make sure we had. If you guys notice my emails that I send out, you know, pretty much daily, that's what's happening. I'm following up with your guys' leads. Those email, those leads are coming in from like Island homepage, you know, you notice on the right when they do their uh, test drive. And then also now with these blogs, if you leave that checked, then I'm going to be following up with those leads for you. And if you notice, I don't ever send affiliate links, so I never cover your tracking which is cool. So therefore, you know, they might be on this email list for a while and I'm following up with them, building a good relationship with them, blah, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden I send them to the home page like I did the other day with all the new testimonials and a ton of people bought and a lot of people got these cha-ching emails. They didn't even know where the hell they came from. Well, you don't know that I'm following up with your leads for you, which is awesome. So that's kind of how it works. So you're letting, you're allowing me to like follow up, build a relationship, build rapport, and then you know, build the transparency and trust, and then you get these cha-ching emails, you don't know where the hell they came from, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but that's what it means by following up your leads. Um, okay, so Clifton, show them really quick. So right there in that, that box you can see on Clifton's screen, that's where you put in your autoresponder code. So those of you guys who know how to do email marketing already, that's where you put in your code. So it, it'll even go to your email as well as we'll follow up your leads too if you want that check mark to be checked. Now here's the cool thing, Clifton. I don't know if does the widget also capture, or is it just the top banner? Uh, no, the capture? widget captures it also. Okay, cool. So if you don't do anything and you're just starting out, and you click save on that, Clifton, show them where um, you'll actually still capture leads yourself, which is really cool, even without an email marketing system, which is awesome. Correct. So when somebody opts in, it, so look, if you're not um, if you're not to the level yet where you have your own email marketing system like AWeber or GetResponse or Constant Contact or any one of those, if you're not at that level yet, you can still collect email leads from your ILN blog. What happens is when somebody enters their email address in here and they click uh, click the button here, you're going to receive an email notification saying that you just generated a new lead and it's going to have their information. It's also going to be stored here underneath contacts. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see contacts. Now, I, I want to say you do not have to have AWeber, GetResponse, or any one of those for this to work. This works with or without it. Okay, so your, your contacts are still going to be saved on this page. And what's going to happen is um, each lead that opts in is going to be listed here with their name, email address, um, phone number if the if the form had it. Now this form here is just the email address. The reason why is because um, it's been proven that you'll receive more opt-ins with the less information that you're asking for. So if you're asking for like their name and their email and their phone number and their social security number then you're not <laughs> real likely to get a whole lot of opt-ins. But if you're just saying hey just give me your email address and I will send you a video or send you some information uh, that's going to help you out. Or, uh, uh, then they're more likely just to give you their, their email address. So here's, here's a cool, go back to that really quick. Here's a really cool tip and cool psychology yet for those of you guys who are out there. I mean, take this away. This is huge. But you see how that button says send me the video instead of show me the video? Right there, it's going to make sure that more than 90% of the people are going to put in an email that actually matters. See, a lot of people are so used to putting in their emails now that they're putting in fake ones. So if you just put show me the video, that means they know they're going to land on a video without them needing to put in the proper email to get it sent to their inbox. When it says send me the video, the psychology behind that is they know it's going to get sent to their email inbox. Therefore, they have to put in the right email. Okay, so that's a huge tip for you guys to just learn and understand is there's a lot more psychology and things behind these opt-in widgets than, hey, I'm just slapping on some text on there. Um, so it's, it's super powerful stuff. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Awesome. So uh, that will be inside here. So what one, one thing that we have that, um, that will happen when you receive a lead, if you're not using a service like AWeber or GetResponse or Constant Contact or one of those, you need to follow up with your leads manually. So that's, that's a... That's a that's one reason why it's great to have 
you know, Aweber or GetResponse or one of those because you can set up campaigns and automate that entire process. But if you are not ready, if you're not really on that level yet, then that's okay. We still want you still can so you can still collect leads, um, but you'll have to manually email them once once a lead comes in. So you'll be notified that uh, John Doe opted into your uh, your blog and wants more information. Then you can send, personally send him an email uh, and do it that way. So that's all stored. Now, what's great, what's really great, is let's say you've uh, been blogging, you've collected a uh, a thousand leads with your ILN blog, and you're ready to really get in and go to that next level with email marketing and you sign up for a, a get response account now what you can do is you can actually export those contacts that you've collected on your blog and it will tell you how many contacts you have so a thousand contacts you can click export contacts and that will um, you'll be able to save all those contacts on your computer's hard drive and then upload them to your new get response account so that's uh, amazing. That's, yeah, that's really powerful. So you guys won't skip a beat on uh, on the whole um, lead generation. Yeah, that's huge because I know when I started, I didn't understand everything. I would have just loved to be able to have my contacts go in and all that stuff. So that's one of those things that I like begged Clifton to figure out how to magically do, and sure enough, magically did it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you challenged me, and you know, as a programmer, I can't challenge me because I'm gonna do whatever I can to. <laughs> to to rise to the challenge, you know. Hell yeah, it's freaking awesome. So um, let's um, go to the uh, top opt-in widget. So go back to the the example really quick. All right. So can we show you how to get paid? This top opt-in widget right here. Um, I don't know, Clifton. Can we put the cookie in there without having the? Um, that's what I was, something I was actually going to ask you. So just super transparent. Go to the setup of this really quick, Clifton. Where they need to go to set up that top opt-in widget. So right there under contacts, opt-in banner. All right. So opt-in form code. What happens if they just put like their their cookie in there? Is there a way that they could just do that? With this, um, there is no redirect. Um, there is no redirect setting on this yet. But um, if for those that are using, uh, and when I say yet because this is something that uh, we can add. Just like just, we have yeah, the, so yeah, funny. as we were doing it, I was just form. thinking of that. We should have just a, the same option, just to throw the cookie in there, don't you think? Yeah, the difference is you can still um, you can still do it, but it would be set up on the email marketing side. So leads right. are still leads that are captured through this top banner right up here is still saved in your contacts list. Um, but if you're using a service like GetResponse or Aweber or whatever, you could put your own code in here and and actually have it saved saved to both. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as far as the cookie, the cookie would need to be set on the um, email marketing side of things, so the get response of the Aweber uh, side. But we can, um, we'll definitely be adding the uh, redirect link, so uh, the cookie will be there as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's so funny. That's just cool that we did this because I remember it just now. Um, so that basically will have an option like we just showed them for the opt-in widget on the side. So whenever you guys see that, I'm sure I don't know how is that a lot of coding to add that. Um, I'm figured out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> everything's a lot. Honestly, everything's a lot of coding. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So this is what I, this is kind of the game plan on these blogs is uh, when everybody gets these story videos in or these story posts and everything like that. I'm sure Clifton can finish it by then. And then next Monday, I mean, these blogs. I'm gonna focus a lot on making sure you guys really get to blogging hardcore because <laughs> this is like I said when we started out this, you know. Without this blog or without Clifton blogging, I would have never met Clifton. Island wouldn't be here. I mean, there's so much power in this. I mean, it's just insane when you realize that you and I wouldn't be having this conversation. You wouldn't be watching this video right now if Clifton didn't blog, right? We would have never formed this partnership. Island would have never been here without the blog. You know, we got people in the community forming partnerships because they're blogs, because they're seeing each other's transparency. They're seeing the power of it. So. That's how powerful this is to make sure you become an expert at it. If you just kind of half do it, that's not going to happen. I wouldn't have found Cliff and he kind of half done it, right? And so it's so easy the way this is set up. It's insane. I mean, literally anybody can do it. I mean, you saw tonight. Um, other than that, let's see. Not turn on the um, code. Vince, what I got is? a great question for you. Ronnie asked, uh, let's see, where is it, Ronnie? Basically, why? Okay, how does my story on an affiliate site bring me more sales from that person's blog? 
That doesn't – okay, so that's you're just thinking about it wrong. What this does is it's really for like – so that's a good example or a good question actually is – so your story on somebody else's site really helps them sell more, okay? So you're really giving to that. Now, what it does for you is it helps your brand more, okay? So what happens is Google, when they see your name or when they see whatever, something about you, the more that your name's talked about, the more that you are talked about, the more that you're going to go higher on the search engines, the more that people are going to trust you, the more that people are going to realize that you're here to stay, the more that people are going to see you as a leader. I mean, I could go on and on and on about it, but the more that your name is on Google, the more that people can find you, the better. And that's really all there is to it. So people are going to constantly see that. So organically, people are going to find you from other people's blogs as well. So it's kind of cool. But really, it comes down to the branding. It comes down to the trust, the 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 reliability, the credit, the credibility, all that good stuff. So, um, so that hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense, Cliff? In the way I explain that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. yeah. So you really are just. I mean, that's what's cool about this. You know, that our whole thing is about family, about helping each other, about lifting each other up. And so, really, your story helps other people get sales, but at the same time, makes your brand bigger than life, right? Huge. Because I would have just craved and loved and freaked out if I could have been on something like this, where I could have got my name out to thousands of blogs around the world. You know what I'm saying? So, um, super powerful question. I mean, it's uh, one of those things where it's a selfless thing to do it, but it's also selfish in the fact that you're still going to get your brand out there like crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you get it. It's a win-win for everybody. Um, let's see, beginning is good, so it's the branding, the recognition, all that stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's super powerful. And then uh, the other thing is uh, on this template blog, we're going to use this template blog a lot as a selling key, like a selling tool. So when, we, when this gets nice and filled up, as we kind of have examples and things like that come out here, people are going to see the template blog, and just to have your face and name on there in that template blog is going to be really good for your branding again. So you can show people that kind of thing, like, look, I'm on the company's, site-wide blog. I mean, just all that kind of like connection to the relation of that, you know, your your presence being bigger, okay, it's just, it's everything, so, all right. Cool. Um, so, uh, let's see, Janice had a question and said that she's not seeing the opt-in banner on her blog. Um, I told you, make sure you go down here to contacts and go to opt-in banner and make sure that it's enabled. Um, if you're still having issues, then just uh, contact support. But um, Susie has a great question. She said, can I switch the blog template at any time? More specifically, if I switch the blog template, can we import all of our existing blog posts into the new templates? So those are actually two different questions. Um, the first one is switching blog templates. So when you create your blog and you choose the advanced template, then it's the advanced template. You cannot switch the template later. The reason why is because when you create the blog it's and you choose a, a specific template, it's building the blog from scratch it's built and it's going to um, yeah, it's going to set everything up from scratch it's not like just like a template that you can just switch it back and forth from it's actually building from scratch a custom blog for you um, but they and, can still go in and change it after, absolutely absolutely so if you choose an advanced blog and you want to like add your own stuff to it you can do that but you have to do it manually it's not going to build it for you so once it's built it's built Show them that really quick, Clifton, if you, if you have time, brother. Um, just go to, like, let's say, for example, you want to change the header after you use the template one or something. See, can we show them something like that? Yeah. Go to your screen share if, before you do it. Okay, so inside of here, this is where you would you'd go to appearance. You're going to have to do your screen share, brother. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep thinking I'm on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just come down here to appearance on the left-hand side, and you'll be able to um, upload your own um, cover photo. You click on—I don't have a cover photo. To, well, actually, I could choose upload. Yeah, if you go to the media library, right? Yeah, there's all these. Uh, these are all cover photos that can be used down here. Um, so if you want to change it to, let's see, where's the one that I like? I like this one right here. So I could choose cover photo, and then if I save. Let me go back to refresh. It switched out the header. Now you got to so change switched the out background. So show them how to change that background. Real All right. Quick. So to change the background, we're going to go to appearance, advanced. All right. Now this is all that you can really, really get deep customizing your blog. Uh, but I give you guys a nice, fair warning right here that 
if you dive into this and you don't know what you're doing, uh, you can you can really mess stuff up. Um, that's why actually background is part of the advanced setting because um, background is a lot easier is, is more difficult to um, to to do than uh, the cover photo. So what we do is just go to styling and then go to background and then you can um, choose it. But your background image has to be nice and big and it has to you know, fit perfectly. Uh, so then we can still they can still grab them from the media library though, right? Right yeah. there. So if they go to media library, we have some pre-existing ones. Yeah, we have some backgrounds here that you can choose from, um, and you can change those. So, um, Susie and uh, yeah, so Susie, that this might be an option for you if you uh, if you chose uh, a, a different template like the advanced template, and you're like, oh, you know, I want to, I want to, you know, a different background or whatever. You can go through it and do this way. Just make sure cover photo, or I'm sorry, full size is chosen for the background. Is there a way, I was going to ask you, ask you that, Clifton, is there a way to make full size the first option on that or no? No, unfortunately. It's, okay. it, what it does is it go, it, it's based off of the last thing that you chose. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it's, okay. Yeah, it's really to help you um, to be more efficient. So it's just going to go off the last thing you chose. So cool. uh, just choose full size and then use this as the background and save the change. And let's go ahead and refresh this page. And there you can cool. see it's changed the background. So, so that's how simple, guys. It's an, it's amazing. That's how simple it is after you've already created one to create other stuff. And yeah, so we um, give you more options. Yeah, and our goal, you know, eventually is to have you know different templates for different companies, different styles, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but you know, the reality is we've only been rolling for about three and a half months, so we haven't really got all the way there. But that's the new exciting stuff as well. Um, but that's simple. I mean, let us know if, if you don't think that was uh, easy to understand, but I think that was pretty damn simple. Um, other than that, what do we get? We get any other good questions, Clifton? Um, let's see. Teresa asked about deleting a blog. Yes, you can delete a blog. So if um, if you blogged about maybe a, a a specific company, if you're in another company or something, and you're no longer with them, and you want to delete your blog, you can delete your blog. However, once that blog's deleted, you cannot reuse the domain name. So this domain name is Clifton Scott, Clifton Scott dot Internet Lifestyle Network dot com. If I delete this blog, I can no longer use Clifton Scott dot Internet Lifestyle Network dot com, nor can anybody else on the network. Show the um, how easy it is to do domain mapping. So how to make it just Clifton Scott dot com or something. Okay. Um, Actually, I thought it was going to be more difficult for people, but a ton of people have set up the domain domain mapping. So um, I guess people were able to do it easier than I thought, which is great news. So to do that, go down to settings and then domain mapping. Now you need to already own the domain name. So you need to go to um, like GoDaddy.com, uh, for example, and purchase uh, a, do a custom domain name. So if I bought... Um, well, I own CliftonScott.com, so I bought CliftonScott.com, and um, once you buy it, then you'll be able to log in and edit the um, the IP address that's the A record that's associated with that. And I walk you through the steps right here on how to do that. So you log in your GoDaddy account, and um, you go into your zone, uh, DNS zone file and edit it. Um, so if you just follow each one of these steps one by one then you will be able to set that up. Now once it's set up, it's been it's been taking about five minutes for most people to update, but it can take up to about an hour, or actually even four hours, but usually it takes about just a few minutes. And then once you've updated your DNS record, then you would type in the domain name down here. All right, so do this first. Once this is done, then add your domain name right here and click Add. And it literally takes what just as long as the host to do it, which is what normally just a few minutes or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Cause it's that simple. I love that. I mean, because a lot of people make a huge deal out of this. Like I'm seeing some other things out there. Like, oh my God, you can do this, but we've already had it. <laughs> so I mean, it's not like yeah anything that you see online that somebody else is doing, we do it and probably better. That's all I'm saying. So there's really no instinct. You know, we don't need to like go crazy and like overhype this or anything. I mean, it's just it's already amazing. Um, so I just wanted you guys to know that that you guys can domain map and um, have these blogs look like your custom ones. Um, and then go to go back to the blog again really quick, Clifton. 
All right, so as you can see, like when you change your header and thing like that earlier, like there's no login to Internet Lifestyle Network on the very top and all that kind of stuff either. So I mean, you can custom this bad boy. If there's a, uh, I'm trying to think of a blog right now that maybe. What about? Did. Do you know uh, Zachary's blog? He's been dying to. Um, yeah. What is it? Show it's off his pretty... awesome header. He's got an awesome header. I don't know. What is it? What is it again? Zach, if you're on here, let us know. I don't think uh, he can post. I don't think you can post URLs I think inside Zach of it. something. Zach, let me see if it's on. Zach. Hopefully he's on here. Maybe he'll just tell us. But yeah, I had to get a rock and, uh, rock and header for him. Let's see. Let's see if he's going to. It's like a 30 second delay. That's a, maybe let me just find his last name. I forgot what his last name is. Zachary Joseph. So let's see if it's Roth. I think is it Roth? Yeah. Let me try ZacharyRoth.com. Did that work? I don't know if he has a custom one set up or not. Yeah, I don't either. Hmm. I'm not looking at the comments. Has he said anything yet? No. Uh, let's see. Michelle said, can we sell our business services from our blog? There he is. There's Zach. Does it have... Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, Zachary Roth. Okay. Or does it have to be custom? Uh, did you see that? Yeah, I'll go to his. Can we sell our business... Yeah, go ahead. Go to his. Can we sell our business services from our blog? Or does it have to be... No, Michelle, you can, you can do whatever the hell you want oh, with our blogs. Work. You, Zach, did you spell it wrong? Oh, wait, he... Zach, I wonder if he's got a custom domain or. Do are you sure it's? Are you sure it's a K and not an H? I think it is a K, actually. Oh, he said dot com. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. So Heather Morton's custom Zach right there. So you can see, I mean, look on the screen, there's no login to Island on the top or what the opportunity is about. It's his own blog, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can change, I mean, it's just crazy. You can make this your own, so I just wanted to show that. Um, and that graphic right there, ZacharyRoth.com, that graphic right there was created by Heather Martins, which is on the Google document. Um, and I'll show you really quick. Let me go to my screen. If you're looking at this document at internetlifestylenetwork.com forward slash wow, and you scroll down here to the bottom, Heather's Island Graphics.com, she's the one that created that. So check that out. She's doing a cool thing um, for you guys. It's like super cheap for everything. I think I forget how cheap that blog header was. Um, but it's not going to be that cheap for long. Let me see really quick. Uh, let's see. And I'm up here, and I kind of go over what she's going to do for you. Let me go to the services, custom blog banner. I think it's just like crazy. Only 195 bucks. So these are all going to jump up 50% when you start getting these here in a little while. But we're also going to have affiliate commissions and cool stuff on that in the future, but it's going to be a lot higher price. So 195 bucks to literally stand out like that. I mean, as you notice, it's everything. I mean, because we want you guys to, you know, utilize these affiliate blogs, but we really just, they're a template for a reason. They're a template to start your business. They're a template to get going. So, you know, the, the ultimate goal is not about the Internet Lifestyle Network. It's about you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's about your brand, your vision, what you want. So I think it was cool. He's, he wants to be branded as your Internet marketing superhero. So it's just really cool. Um, but... Let me know if uh, you guys have any other questions, Cliff, and I'm, I'm about done, brother. Yeah, we covered a ton of stuff. Um, yeah. So this is, this is well, you know, it's recorded, so you guys can go back and um, if you need to and, like, stop and pause and go through all of it. Um, but then there's also, you know, tutorials and stuff that are available that are actually inside of the dashboard on, um, on how to do a lot of that, too. So. Cool. Um, let's see. I see a lot since we're kind of like I see a lot of stuff about Empower Network versus us and things like that. Just guys, try to keep. I know, like you know, it's hard not to say that we're better or whatever, but just try to keep that conversation like not <laughs> a part of this community. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys can have private conversations about why Island's better and things like that, but you know the reality is I just want to cover it really quick. Is Dave and Dave those guys work their asses off for that place? 
Cliff and I work our ass off, so we know how much work and stuff they've done. You know, my point of view is we don't get as hypey and crazy about things, you know, which is therefore kind of makes them, you know, a different breed or whatever. Um, but the reality is Cliff and I, we respect what they've done. You know, we just... What we do here is we try to make things as best as we can create them. They try to do the same thing. They just have a different way of doing it. So try to keep the Empower Network versus Island conversations out and just realize that what we have is what we have and what they have is what they have. You know what I'm saying? So we just don't want to be kind of part of that conversation that much. Well said. Um, other than that, you know, there's really nothing else that at this point, I mean, there's, we're having some other cool stuff, you know, where I'm going to be able to blog for you guys. I've been telling you guys that for a while, where I'll publish new things, and you can allow me to publish them on your blogs for you, which is going to be super powerful, so you can literally, you know, not have to do much if you don't want to that particular day, and at least you've still got something rolling. Uh, Clifton, I think, is also going to try to make an app where we probably can, uh, where it will automatically post content to your... Uh, Facebook walls and things like that. You were saying you could do that probably in the future, Clifton, right? Yes. Which is going to be nuts. So I can't wait for that myself. Uh, what else is new? We're going to change a lot of the island back office where the home page is going to have a getting started video and there's going to be like bam, bam, bam. Like here's what you're going to do. Like, you know, start learning, create a blog, get to the next event. Like just probably five different things, you know, like to where when people get in there, it's not just a 100-day video challenge and they don't know what the hell's going on besides that. It's going to be, like, really nice and smooth. We're also going to break everything up into sales pages, so the inner circle is going to have its own sales page. You know, all the leadership brand is going to have its own sales page. I mean, all this stuff. So I'm going to cover a lot of stuff on Wednesday. I'm pretty excited to let you guys know that things are about to go crazy. That's all I'm about to say right now. And you're going to kind of see Island is not so much as like, here's my cool little side thing that helps my business. It's going to be like, holy crap, I'm about to make a ton of freaking money. <laughs> and so things are about to go crazy. That's all I'm about to say. And, um, you know, Island, that conversation is going to be a little bit different when you start communicating this vision with people because um, there's some big things happening. I've been telling people a little bit on the side, and people are about are freaking out every time I see it. So... Wednesday, I think, or Thursday. Wednesday would be the earliest. Thursdays might be the next thing, but you guys are going to freak the hell out. <laughs> All right, fam. Clifton, we out of here? Yep. All we right. covered a lot of stuff. So Yeah, if you guys got more questions, like I said, we're going to break everything down into like little bite-sized pieces for you guys. We have some really high-level stuff coming, and then we have some really sweet beginner stuff You know where you guys can get going step-by-step uh, -step with this as well. And there'll be a full section on just setting up your apprentice blog from start to finish. Like, boom, little quick snippet, boom, little quick snippet. And then there, in the inner circle, there's going to be some high-level crazy stuff that people who want to go really advanced uh, as well. And then, like I said, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. But the main thing right now that you guys need to get to is our GRN event coming up. And that's powerful stuff. So if you don't know what that is, make sure you get back to the person and watch the latest video with that. Or you can just at the very top of uh, ILN... Let's see, what does it say now? Vacation on top? I'm going to have it probably, by the time you see it, if you just go to the very top of Island, it's going to say Vacation Club. So check out that last video. That talks about our next event that's coming up as well. And uh, hold on. Let me just go to my thing really quick. That looks so crazy when it does that. All right, so right here, Clifton, I don't know if you got that message, but I want. I think it would be cool if it said Vacation Club. Yeah, um, go, ahead and, go ahead and refresh it. Okay. So right here on the top, boom. Okay, so Vacation Club. Click on that, and that will open up in a new window, and we'll talk. that's our latest webinar about how to make at least 3K using the cash windfall strategy. And this talks about our live event that's coming up from 11.22 to 11.23, and people are popping these $5,000 sales and making $3,250. There's been a few of them every single day happening ever since we launched this. So we want to get, when your life starts to change, that's when you start making thousands of dollars per sale, okay? And that's what we do. So make sure you check that out. That's super powerful, and uh, we can't wait to see you uh, back in Arizona. It's just a, it's a sweet little place, and for me, Arizona and that event, that's kind of bringing everything full circle for me is that when I changed my life is when I got our vacation club. Like that's how things changed. And when I got into that and then we had our first live event, I made five platinum sales for that live event. So this exact event 
is where like everything changed. So I, that's why I'm super excited, super passionate about that. And then, oh my God, when you see what I'm going to tell you guys here Wednesday or Thursday, you're going to freak out. <laughs> I can't get over it. It's going to be so awesome. So, all right, fam, we're getting out of here. Clifton and I, we love you guys, and we will see you on the next Webby. Other than that, reach out to us if you have any questions. Reach out to support if you have technical questions. Uh, reach out to me on Facebook if you need anything, and I'm always here for you. Clifton's always here for you. Much love, Clifton. We out. Love you guys. See you, Vince. We're out.